That's the Tin Man. Look what I just planted. See how that dirt's torn up there and stuff, and you can see more tufts of it and stuff? You can tell, obviously, these aren't the, the typical mole ones we talk about. See all that un, all that un, or that roughness in the ground or whatever? It's like very to the surface, um, trails right under the grass, whether it's being done with sticks, maybe, you know? And then I think I'm always following a hole down because I turn around and I dig down you know, I pushed down two or three inches, but maybe they've crammed a stick in there to make it longer. I don't know, but trust me, this isn't kids who've done this or, or messed with the mole holes. It's not dogs who have done this or messed with the mole holes. One of the other reasons I'm seeing this, I watch a pattern in leaves. You see that tree over there with the leaves around on the ground there? Let's zoom in a bit there so you can so we can see the heaviness of it. I'm not sure if it's the light fooling me, but it doesn't seem as heavy through here, but I'm not sure, like I said, with the light. So you look around these trees here. And I'm not going to get into my specifics right now. Okay. But if you got into your specifics and learning how to just think about the wind patterns the night before even... Different things like that. Watch for these kind of things popping up like that. Here's another stick that I stuck in the ground there. You know, I'm obviously giving them the understanding that I know this is um, good sprout material. This would have no problem starting to kick a gear in and keep going, especially in this moist season we have now. So here's a sub supposedly small one, but I'm telling you right now, like this is all weirdly puffed up. Like a stick might have just crammed in on that angle. Or maybe we are having some weird thing that isn't a, isn't like our typical moles. It's a new species or something that has moved into the area and we just haven't realized it yet or something. Right back there is a actual living environment where they hang out and they chill. Whether they live there all the time, I think they probably do. Through this is just part of it. Looks up to many acres back there, but you know, once you know their trails, I've been saying it forever, and I haven't stopped saying it. I just don't say it very much. But once you know their trails, and it's really easy to um, know if they're in your vicinity in a fresh way, you know, by the hour almost, so, and sometimes it's almost by the minute. So, all that there is new blueberry, or blackberry I should say, it, none of this produced any berries. If you kind of look at it closely, you can see all the way up, it didn't produce any berries, it was just all planted. From about this point over, it's all, it's been here for years. But this was a brand new crop of blackberry right there. It's very easy to tell that. That's amazing that it's filled out that much area. This is the tree that the raccoon came down. What I'd like to do is kind of get an idea if I think it's standing any straighter or anything like that. There's lots of video on this area. I'm suspecting that branch there, the one on top there, to the left, to reach over better towards that building um, this winter. I talked about it the first time I filmed it close to a year ago now, so probably about 10 or 11 months ago. Peace out from the tin man. It's all real. Just have to watch out for their behavioral habits, and we have to start studying them and making sure that they're not causing us problems. Look at the traffic!